Hello everyone and welcome to the Wecek Laboratory in the beautiful KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. My name is Stephen Lummi and I'm Wecek's technical manager. Today I would like to introduce you to the Wecek Rio Stick. The Rio Stick lends its name from the word rheology, and rheology is a branch of physics that deals with the study of the deformation and more specifically the flow of different materials, like lubricating oils. Now, the most important rheological property of a lubricating oil is its viscosity. And viscosity is defined as a fluid's resistance to flow, or in layman's terms, how thick or how thin the oil actually is, and is a reading of great importance because it ultimately affects aspects of tribological behavior, like friction and wear of interacting metal surfaces. The Rio stick is a user-friendly visual very important to remember, visual viscosity comparator, intended to monitor the viscosity of lubricating oils in a range of between 32 centisokes to 680 centisokes at 40 degrees or at ambient temperatures. Now, small little disclaimer, while the Rio stick is an effective on-site tool for determining viscosity, it cannot physically measure the viscosity of the oil in centisokes, and it cannot determine the chemical composition of the oil. You will need two clean 5 mil syringes, obviously the Rio stick itself, a sample of used oil in question, a sample of the new oil of the same brand and grade as the used oil, and a flat surface to work on. Once you have taken a sample of your used oil, it's very important to allow for sufficient time for the used oil to come to ambient room temperature. This is true of both the used oil and the new oil. It is vitally important that both be at the same temperature, which is room temperature. When at room temperature, add 5 ml of used oil to the used oil reservoir by means of a clean 5 ml syringe. Using new oil of the same branding grade as the used oil, add 5 ml of fresh oil to the reservoir once again by means of a clean 5 ml syringe. The reservoirs need to be filled with exactly 5 ml of oil, so the use of a syringe is highly recommended for both oils that you're going to use. Tilt the viscosity comparator until it rests on its angled base at the opposite end from the reservoir and allow the oil to run down the channels. When the new oil reaches the midpoint on the scale, return the rear stick to the horizontal. Observe the point reached by the used oil. If the used oil has not reached the scale, then the viscosity is higher than the new oil. A high viscosity could be attributed to oxidation or degradation due to extended oil drain intervals, high operating temperatures, the presence of water, the presence of oxidation catalysts, or the addition of an incorrect lubricant. Now to show you the inverse of what I've just shown you over there. So that's an example of an oil, a used oil that has a viscosity that is much higher than the new oil value. What we have over here is a sample that already is quite thin because it contains fuel from fuel dilution. So I'm going to show you the process in reverse. As per the first set of instructions, take a sample of the new oil and put it into the oil reservoir. Take a sample of the used oil once again, you want to try and get the same amount. Now tip over the rear stick until it rests on its base, watching till when the oil passes the midpoint. So this is an example of a used engine oil that is considerably thinner than the, U, than the new oil sample itself used oil has overrun the scale, then the viscosity is lower than the new oil. A low viscosity could be attributed to degradation of the viscosity index improver additive in the oil as a result of shearing or due to the use of an incorrect lubricant during a refilling or topping up procedure or due to fuel dilution as is the case over here. For more information on the WeCheck Rio Stick or for any of our other products or services, please visit our website or contact any one of your nearest WeCheck laboratories or offices. Happy sampling, people.